I finally got uh, my serial communication working with Arduino and the HC12 module. Um, I'll show how it works first and then quickly I explain what was the issue. So I just uh, compile and upload the speech. Okay, you see the blink? That means the setup is complete. And then I go to the serial monitor. Okay, so it's continuous LED, so it says it means that uh, the serial communication is established. And uh, I've set uh, set pin to ground, so which will let me go into the configuration mode. So the at mode. So I just uh, put at, and it says okay. Uh, that means that I can connect successfully to the at mode and let me quickly show you some more things with this at so at cx oh something <coughs> wrong at <coughs> plus <coughs> rx so that reads the current settings which is connected at 9600 watts first channel 20 dBm uh, 20 dBm is the power which is the highest power mm. and FU3 is the mode just check the data sheet for more information on this okay so let, let me quickly tell you first what was the issue so here so uh, there are several libraries for serial communication in Arduino, but you just need to understand a little bit of hardware here. So, the libraries are divided into two parts, in, into two types of libraries. One is hardware serial, another is software serial. That is the most use of hardware serial is the most preferred way because it will be the most efficient one. Um, however, if your board has limited number of hardware serial ports, or any other reason you can always use software serial but remember that use of software serial will put load on your CPU uh, so there are several uh, so I've, there are three uh, commonly used software serial libraries one is software serial this is really bad this causes the issue and do not use this and next one is the new software serial this is all right but I couldn't get it working with my TNC board but I think with Arduino Nano it works uh, and then finally there is alt serial which works with my TNC uh, one thing to note here is that only sev only a particular ports can be used for serial communication not all ports are available for serial communication it was a uh, I didn't know this before it's important to know this um, so I was trying something crazy here so the thing is a uh, lot of time this this module needs a lot of power and which is not sufficient through the Arduino so you need uh, external power supply which was I was trying to do but was not successful and ended up blowing one or two of my HC12 modules uh, so that so the point is you need to supply between 3.3 and 5 volts uh, through an external battery or external power supply and you also need it's 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 all uh, you also need a hundred hundred microfarad capacitor uh, I'll, I'll quickly show you the relevant uh, circuit in uh, in the data sheet where did it go where did it go okay I think I couldn't cannot find it but but the point is uh, you need a resistor yeah I found it I think so get it to get it working correctly you need a a capacitor here electrolytic around 100 microfarads 
and a diode here if you want to use it for a longer time and on 5 volts but I think if you use it on 3.3 volt you don't need the uh, diode that's what it's written here uh, I think it's important to be careful on this point and also another important point is the TX from HC12 has to be connected to RX on the Arduino and RX on the Arduino has to be connected to TX to the HC12 you need to flip it basically